Happy morning everyone and welcome to Adventist Medical Facebook Live. So, kumusta po kayo diyan ano? Uh, ako po ang inyong host for today, ako si John Rodney Tantuan. At ang ating tatalakayin po for today is about diarrhea in children or acute gastroenteritis. So ngayon po, makakasama po natin ang isang pediatrician. Siya po ay diplomat ng Philippine Pediatric Society at ng Philippine Academy of Pediatric Pulmonologist na walang iba kundi si Dr. Kina Riobuya Magallanes. Happy morning sa ating mga viewers. Happy morning, Sir Rodney. Alright, so uh, we're excited to learn new things po ngayong araw, no? Uh, matututunan po natin kung paano natin mas maalagaan ang ating mga anak o ang ating mga apo. Kung sakali, um, pero bago po tayo magsimula, Dok, uh, let's pray po muna. Okay. So, uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you very much for giving us this day. Please guide us throughout the program. Please bless our viewers as we take on this, as we tackle our uh, topic for today on diarrhea in children. Thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us. Uh, please guide us and uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, yun po, ano, we're excited po to learn new things dito sa ating topic for today. Um, Dok, uh, first question po, ano nga po ba ang sanhi ng diarrhea in children? Actually, uh, madami ang sanhi. Most common sa mga bata ay virus. Mm -hmm. At ang common ay ang rotavirus. Oh, okay po. Okay, so simula na natin um, topic for this morning. So, diarrhea in children or acute gastroenteritis. So, this will be the outline of our talk this morning. Uh, okay, so first, we will define what is diarrhea. So, diarrhea is an abnormally loose or watery liquid stools, three or more in 24 hours. So, Sir Rodney, if you are frequently passing solid or form stool, it doesn't mean that you have a diarrhea. Okay? So, nor if a breastfed baby passes pasty stool. So, because that's the normal stool in breastfed babies. Okay? So, diarrhea is the most common manifestations of acute gastroenteritis. So, what is gastroenteritis? It is actually inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract from infections as you have most common is the viruses so rota is the more common cause of viral gastroenteritis and then we have the bacteria or the parasites which is which includes your amoeba so meaning to say your diarrhea kanina is a symptom. Hindi siya yun yung sakit. Pero yung sakit, yun yung tinatawag na gastroenteritis. And you refer to it as acute if it is less than 14 days. Okay? So, pero pag more than 14 days na, ang tawag na doon ay persistent. Okay. So, itong ating talk this morning will be focusing on acute um, gastroenteritis. No? Kasi it's a different management it's already persistent, okay? So, uh, ano bang burden ng diarrhea sa buong mundo? Actually, in 2015, uh, completely half million or 8.6% of childhood deaths no, is due to diarrhea. And it has ranked to be the fourth most common cause of mortality worldwide. So, it, it was also in 2015 that uh, one bill episodes were reported. So, 86% of that occurred in Africa and Southeast Asia where we belong. No? So, uh, Doc, napansin ko po na medyo doon sa ating uh, poor communities, doon uh, medyo kong diarrhea po, ano? Oh, yes. And later, we will know why. Okay. So, um, yun. Actually, this numbers, no, have declined already. So, compared to two decades ago, yung incidence of diarrhea has declined already but as we can see substantially pa rin in numbers they've noted that the decline in global mortality due to the following so as we have the rotavirus 
vaccines already, improving case management ng um, diarrhea, pati yung nutritional status, kahit pa paano nag-improve from previous years. And um, the ORS therapy and improved nutritional management the acute illness. So, ito yung mga nag-contribute kaya kung bakit siya nag-decline. Kaya lang, madami pa din, no? Then pa rin siya. So, in the Philippines, no, it is among the top five causes of childhood mortality. No? So, in children less than 5 years old. And I tried to get the census of our hospital. No? We've admitted about 1,156 acute gastroenteritis case in the last 5 years. So, approximately 205, 230 ang na-admit per year. So, that's, yes, every year. So, madami pa rin. And are just the admitted. So, malamang sila yung mga dehydrated. Okay? So, yon So, paano nga ba nakakakuha nito? How, ayan, oh, ayan yung po, transmission. Uh, majority, kasi hindi po natin alam kung saan, ba, saan nga po ba nakukuha ito sa pagkain nga po ba, sa inumin, sa, sa other things sa pwedeng pagkuha na or intake ng bata. Oh, actually, can be spread from person to person. No? So, the spread organism can be due to oral route. So, anong mm -hmm. ibig nun? Mm -hmm. The spread of organism comes from the infected stool, o pasintabi dun sa mga kumakain, no? um, from infected stool to the mouth of the another person. Okay? So, it, studies have shown also na pwede siyang maging insulates. Mm -hmm. Okay? Kung magkatabi po tayo, kung uh, if ever, akong... suka ako, kasi sabi nga, insulates, mm -hmm. malanghap mo yun another mode, oh, no? Okay po, okay. Common is your fecal oral route. Oh, okay? Po. Or it can be also, uh, it can also occur after uh, fecal contamination of food and water. Mm -hmm. And also, there could be a hand-to-mouth transmission mm -hmm. after, kunya, you, have, you didn't hand wash after um, touching an effective item, mm -hmm. tas na ito mo, meron din tayo hand-to-mouth transmission. Oh. Okay po. So, uh, yes. Doc, napansin ko lang po kasi yung rivers doon sa, nagbabasa rin po kasi ng uh, history, geology, mga ano po. Uh, doon sa river kasi in Africa is uh, doon, doon nila kinukuha yung water nila. Doon Kung na rin sila, sila. naligo. Oo. So, possibly, doon nila pwede sila. makuha yung, uh, yes. yung virus. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, there. So, ano bang mga common manifestations, mm -hmm. no? Aside from so, you can have fever, no? Pero sabi nila, pagka yung fever, mas matataas, siguro mga, mga high-grade fever, yung mga nagpo-40 degrees, centigrade na, most likely bacterial na yung cause okay, and viral. Kasi okay. viral, they can have like fever, pero mas lower grade, mm -hmm. no? Then they can have also vomiting. Mm -hmm. so, so, according to Nons, yung aming book, yung usual, yung tinatanong mo na rotavirus kanina, mm -hmm. Usually, ang presentation nila, nauuna muna silang magsuka before sila mag-diarrhea. And vomiting na invariably seen in bacterial diarrhea. Okay? So, they can have abdominal pain, and then they can have blood tools. Pag meron ng blood in stools, mukhang bacterial na cause niyan. So, itong ating topic later, more on viral, no? Mm -hmm. The most common. So, usually, less blood pagka, or walang blood pag Viral diarrhea. So, And, uh, Doc, i ano ko lang po. Yes. May question lang po ako doon sa bloody stool po. Uh, possibly po ba uh, yung lining ng stomach niya is possibly damaged po ba? By uh, bacteria the ba bacterial, by yes. Ah, okay. okay. So, Which is seen more on bacteria. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, then, pag high stool frequency, no? pag madalas, more than 10 times a day, it's most likely due to a bacterial infection. Mm. So, this are the usual manifestations. Okay? So, actually, this table, so it can be kind of be crowded or medyo manifest for you to view. So, these are the parameters na to say or to assess if your patient is dehydrated or not. So, yung marami tayong ina-assess dyan, the mental status, the thirst, the heart rate, the quality of the pulses, yung breathing, tignan din yung eyes, tears, mouth, and tongue, 
skin fold, capillary refill, extremities, and urine output. So, ang gusto ko lang tandaan nyo would be the next slide, no? Yung no dehydration. Kasi we can still manage our children our po in the house basta walang signs of dehydration. So, ano ba yung walang dehydration? So, usually, yung mga bata ay alert and well lang looking despite the diarrhea, okay? So, minsan, pag napapansin nyo na po na nagiging retable or restless, probably may ayan, some form of hydration, okay? Uh, lalo na yung mga talagang dehydrated, lantutay na sila, no? It can, yung severe, nagiging unconscious sila. So, they, you also assess yung yung paano sila uminom, okay? If it's norm, they are drinking the usual lang, so mukhang okay pa sila, normal pa. Pero kung napansin nyo na po na parang thirsty, gusto nila inom ng inom ng water, there is a form of dehydration already. Mm -hmm. So you check the eyes pala, if it's sunken, yan yung tinatapos natin na nangangalumata, no? Pag malalim na, so parang dehydrated. Or tingnan nyo rin kung umiiyak pero walang luha, so mukhang dehydrated na yung pasyente nyo, wala nang COVID na lumalabas, no? So, so i-relate -re ko lang po kasi yung po ngayon, uh, panahon po tayo ay nasa bahay lang. Yung mga sunken eyes, uh, possibly because hindi po ba dahil sa pagpupuyat lang, may certain distinction po ba doon sa dehydration na po talaga? Actually, yung sa pagpupuyat, for me, siguro mas tawag doon, uh, yung, anong tawag nga doon, yung, pag, yung parang black, Ba-black siya. Mm -hmm. uh, na po yung... Eye bags. Eye bags. Oh, so, <laughs> more on po yun, no? Oh, Pero oh, ito, oh. lubog siya. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so, so yun. Madi-differentiate mo naman. At saka, syempre, kung parang nangalumata, wala ka namang losses. Eh, mukhang hindi naman yun sangkin. Yun okay. nga po. <laughs> okay. So, next is yung respira respiration. So, normal lang yung paghinga nila. So, et next is skin goes quickly. So, saan ba namin to ina-assess? Usually, sa tagiliran ng chan, no? Sa tagiliran ng chan, sa level ng puso. So, ipipinch nyo, tatignan kung babalik agad yung skin. Mm -hmm. So, pagka medyo mabaga, less than 2 seconds, more than 2 seconds, so, there is some form of dehydration. Kaya lang, hindi lagi applicable, lalo na sa mga matang makapal ang sinus fat, like mm -hmm. me, no? Parang hindi mo ngayon mapipit, that's false negative, okay? Or yun know, naman sa malnourished, talagang medyo mabagal bumalik, okay? So, ito pong uh, skin test or skin, yung pag... Skin pag, pinch, oh. Skin pinch na to is nakakatulong sa ating uh, pag mga friends sa bahay kasi pwede nilang gawin yun on, at their comfort of their home. So, yun po, They ano? can check, no? Mm -hmm. The other one is kapir refill time. So, how do we do that? So, yung, you pinch your, your uh, soft pad of your finger or the fingernail. So, until it turns white. And then, you when you eat, you time kung ilang seconds bumalik yung dating. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, if it's less than two seconds, hindi sila dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And one good is, um, gauge is the urine output. Lalo na yung mga nakadiapers, no? They will assess na Okay pa ba or bawas na yung okay. So, I want the viewers to remember this. Ito yung mga points na hindi pa dehydrated yung anak niya. We can manage them at home. Once again, let's read. Uh, patient is well alert, drinks normally, mm -hmm. non-sunken apples, with tears, with normal respiration, skin goes back quickly, CRT time is less than 2 seconds, and with normal urine output. Okay? Pagka ganito po yung um, uh, pasyente o nas mga anak, apo nyo, okay pa po nating i-manage sa bahay. Okay? So, we, now we go to management. Okay? First is feeding. So, before, when I was in my training, no, years ago, I'll not mention na lang when, no, we usually hold the feeding. Pero, yun po, ang um, ating management ay we continue giving what they have been eating, no? Diet for age. Exclusive breastfeeding 
recommended for infants less than 6 months of age or it's combined with proper adequate and safe complementary foods from 6 months to 2 years old so yon so kung breastfed mas maganda tuloy yung breast or yung iba naman that infant formula has been already a part of their diet they do not no need to dilute kasi sometimes yung iba they need so it's not recommended to dilute you give the same reconstitution of the milk or it is also and also it is not recommended to shift to a lactose free formula okay although some viral diarrhea would have some form of um, lactose intolerance but this is a minority and they can tolerate um, the same ano um uh, uh, milk with uh, yung usual milk niya na may lactose okay so next what do we give what foods do we give so we advise complex carbohydrates no fresh fruits lean meat and vegetables and we avoid fatty food in simple sugar so these are the examples no so uh, examples of your car car complex carbohydrates would be Rice, bread, potato, cereals, and wheat, no? So, we avoid the simple carbs that are high in sugar, okay? So, as shown below, the, and also the, yes? Napansin ko po doon sa, um, uh, yung simple cases natin, doon sa high sugar, napansin ko po puro processed food po. Yes. Yung, uh, pinapakita sa ating uh, presentation. So, ngayon po kasi na pandemic and uh, minsan lang po tayo makapunta ng palengke or what we prefer mostly na yung other, uh, they prefer the high in sugar na mga pagkain kasi ang dali nang i-prepare, pwede nang kunin sa ref and then iinumin na lang, kakainin. Or ipiplito so, na lang. Opo, oh. less efforts. Okay. Pero dito po sa complex cases natin, yung mga katulad ng breads, Yung mga gulay, kailangan din pong i-intake yun ng mga bata para uh, maging healthy sila and hindi may iwas sila doon sa diarrhea. Or ma-maintain yung nutrition nila mm -hmm. during the diarrheal episode. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So actually, even walang diarrhea, the simple carbs is also not advisable, de ba? Mm -hmm. So lalo na kung ang bata ay may diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we have to avoid giving those. Sometimes kasi for, uh, dahil may sakit, no? Um, minsan ayaw kumain. So tatanungin, anong gusto? So usually, ang preferred ng madami is would be your simple carbs. Mm -hmm. So, Dok, uh, kailangan po ba nating pilitin ang bata na kumain kahit ayaw niya kapag uh, nagda-diarrhea po siya? We have to encourage. We have to okay. encourage. Oh, to maintain their nutritional support. Ah, okay. Okay. Malinaw okay. So, next is fluids. So, we have to give fluids as tolerated. So, what are uh, sh what should be avoided no during diarrhea so we do not advise giving carbonated drinks like soft drinks no sweetened drinks like iced tea milk tea artificial fruit juice caffeinated drinks sports drinks and other electrolyte drinks okay because these are high in sugar and it can um, aggravate your diarrhea, okay? And sometimes they, they do not meet the, uh, the requirement to replace what's lost with every episode of a diarrheal stool, okay? So what's, so what's best to give? So the first line of treatment is the oral rehydration solution Ayan okay po yung natin na ORS. yes po. Oo. so this has been reformulated and the recommendation is a low osmolarity ORS oral rehydration solution as flash um, it contains 75 mex of sodium 64 mex of chloride 20 mex of potassium 75 mex of glucose per 1 liter Okay, so actually, um, studies have shown that um, comparing to the previous formulation of the ORS, this is better tolerated, less uh, vomiting, and it reduces the stools. Okay? 
Okay. So for actually, um, if this is actually readily available, okay, but sometimes uh, we cannot go out of the house and you, can, you, you wanted to uh, give um, first aid, you can do your own ORS. According to the CPG uh, of Acute Infection, we, uh, in 2019, um, with, which was developed with the DOH, so you, they suggested that you can do your own ORS. So you put um, one teaspoon of salt and four to five teaspoons of sugar in a clean one liter water. Oh. So if you were not able to buy it, you can uh, um, try making your own. Yan, kasi okay? po, uh... Dahil ang mga parents natin and children ay nasa bahay lang and online study po ngayon, no? So, more on na uh, computer sila, cell phones. So, pwede pong gawin ito ng ating parents. Yes. Opo. Lalo na yung mga batang nasa elementary, kinder, you know, yung mga uh, age lower than 10, right po ba? Okay po. Okay, so, how do we replace, no? How do we replace the losses to avoid dehydration? So, for children less than 2 years old, so you can give about 50 to 100 ml or 1 fourth to 1 half cup of ORS after each loose stool or vomiting. Okay, for 2 years and above, you can give 100 ml or one half cup after each loose stool or vomiting. And for more than 10 years old, you can give as much fluid as tolerated. Actually, Sir Rod, sometimes diba, we have vomiting with our uh, diarrhea. So they advise giving it in small amounts. No, So you can start giving it 5 ml, no? paunti-unti, so it will be tolerated. So, how do you give it? So, they advise giving it by dropper or by syringe or by um, teaspoon, okay? Kasi sometimes I have an experience, they, they place the ORS in a feeding bottle and then when the baby tasted it, the next time that they offered, kahit yung milk na yung laman nun, mm. ayaw niya ng dede yeah, Kasi oh, ini, iniisip niya na baka ORS din oh, alaman. Pa, yung taste kasi more on taste po sila eh. Oo. Oh, oh. At saka, in niya na baka yun ulit yung binibigay. Mm -hmm. So, better we can give via glass kung mm -hmm. kaya na, dropper, mm -hmm. teaspoon, no? Lalo na yun dun sa mga nagsusuka. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sige. So, um, so, the first, before we go on, so the first three, the the feeding, giving of fluids, and ORS can be done at home, no? Mm -hmm. The first line of treatment. So, to avoid um, the children to have dehydration. So, the next would be part of our management. Na. So, we usually, we also give zinc supplementation, okay? It has been found out that by giving this um, um, supplement, it has reduced duration and severity of diarrhea, and also it prevents recurrence. So, usually, this is part of our regimen. So, we give it 20 elemental zinc per day for 6 months old and above for 10 to 14 days. Okay. So, uh, itong zinc supplementation po natin, kailangan na po talaga nito ng, uh, uh, ng supervision ng isang pediatrician. Yes, for the dosing. Uh -oh. dosage po. Ah, okay. okay. Yes. Then, how about antibiotics? Mm -hmm. No. Actually, we don't routinely give antibiotics mm -hmm. no, in diary and children. Why? Because as we mentioned kanina, the most common cause would be viruses, no? And they are self-limited. Mm -hmm. So, kahit you don't give antibiotic, they will just resolve in its own. Usually, mm -hmm. yung mga rotavirus, mga one week yan, mm -hmm. okay? So, unless there are indication of a possible um, suspected or proven bacterial infection, then we give antibiotics. And we also avoid giving antibiotics inappropriately kasi they, we would develop more antibiotic resistance. So, yun po, makakabuo po ng resistance yung virus. Uh, so, Doc, uh, before po tayo magpatuloy, ano, dito sa ating napakagandang topic, okay. uh, batiin po muna natin ang okay. ating mga viewers. Sige. So, so, andito po si Ma'am Elsa Bacol. Uh, good morning everyone. So, binabati niya po tayo. Good morning. Uh, si Ma'am Edna Duat, ang ating top fan. So, happy Wednesday to both of us daw po. 
And then, and then, and dito rin po si Ma'am Leeds A. Bruel. Happy Wednesday. And dito rin po si Therese. Good morning daw to us. And uh, si Ma'am Flor, ang sabi niya po dito is hello. Napakaganda ng programa ninyo. Salamat sa inyo at nakikinabang kami ng libre. Oh, we're happy God bless to know. on your ministry. So, yun po. And andito rin po si Ma'am Vanji Aquino. Hi, Doc Magallanes. Pedya ng apo ko. Hello. Napakagaling nyo daw po, sabi ni Ma'am Vanji Aquino. Salamat. Opo. Ayan din po uh, si da- Dr. Daniel Creus. Hi. Hi, do- Hi Kito. <laughs> <laughs> Nanonood po siya ngayon. And then um, si Ma'am Eleanor Villasol. Good morning. Have a good day from Bacolod City. Wow. wow. Nakaabot po pala kami sa Bacolod, no? Hello po kami. Hello. Hello po dyan. Kamusta po kayo? So, ano po? Uh, let's continue po on our topic. Okay. So, next would be the adjuncts, no? So, what can what else can we give? Actually, first in the list is probiotics. Mm-hmm. So, nowadays, ang dami-dami ng antibiotics, no? Um, there are several who have safety um, studies, no? And this I flash in the screen is the one recommended by the um, C, uh, CPG, no? Combination ng pedia and adult. So, yan yun. It was also mentioned in the Philippine Society of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition Guideline released during the pandemic. So, these are the suggested probiotics no, who have um, 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 studies already. But there are other probiotics also because we're um, that have studies that they are um, effective in prevention and therapy of acute diarrhea. What I placed here lang is what is recommended in the guidelines, okay? So, another one would be your rasekatotril. So, um, this one is usually given or may be given in the first three days of diarrhea. So, it inhibits yung secretion, hypersecretion ng water into the intestines, no? Next is your anti-emetics, yung uh, nagpipigil magsuka. Actually, in children, it is not required kasi many can do away without this, okay? And we are afraid of or we avoid this because of its adverse effect, okay? So, next is anti-motility. So, yung nagpipigil naman lumabas, di ba? So, actually, this is contraindicated in pediatric patients, no? Because, you know, Sir Rod, there are acute gastroenteritis that are caused by toxins lang. So, you, you, you have to let it pass out lang, no? Pag pinigilan natin, it will, ano, stay longer in the body. So, mas parang it might do more harm, no? Unless, uh, mas maganda yung let it out. So, when you let it out, you just replace the losses. So, hydration. Actually, yun yung talagang uh, first line of treatment is yung hydration, yung your hydration patient. Talaga. Kasi In nawawalan po sila ng food. Losses, no? Okay. okay. So, so, ang napansin ko lang po doon sa ating uh, mga adjuncts ay yung probiotics. May yes. lactobacillus po. Uh, may isa po kasi akong alam na drink kung saan may lactobacillus din po. Uh, Alam niyo naman po siguro kung ano yung drink na yun. Uh, recommended po ba na inumin ng mga bata yun? Actually, um, a product that starts with why. Okay. So, uh, so we will not promote or mm. ano, another. Mm. <laughs> um, so uh, actually, um, there are, um, it's not, um, parang not recommended kasi kasama yun sa drink. Okay? Mm-hmm. Hindi lang probiotic yun. And there are other contents of that drink. May so, milk din po kasi yun. Oo. So, and then, um, yung probiotic, meron talagang probiotic na probiotic lang talaga yung content niya. Okay. And that siguro would help, no? Yung may mm-hmm. mga um, probiotic with safety efficacy studies, okay? So, we don't really advise probiotics mix in drinks, di ba? Kanina sinabi ko, they may be high in sugar, which is not, which we should avoid in when in diarrhea. And milk din po. Okay, yes. Okay. So, next would be, so, eto lang ay paalala. So, no, we are advising kanina how to manage your children without dehydration at home. But if the symptoms persist, we, we may need to consult or follow up na po with our doctor. So, sometimes, lalo 
the if we tried to manage them pero sir rod hindi nila matolerate yung ORS di ko makain we don't have to wait for three days then okay so ito lang yung parang they are doing well you are trying kasi wala namang dehydration but if the symptoms persist mga magde three days na best is to ano na consult okay so next we go to prevention or Prevention na po okay, no? so a part of the prevention of acute diarrhea in children is breastfeeding. Why? Because um, exclusive breastfeeding in the first six months of life. So we promote um, passive immunity no? through the breast milk. And syempre, if purely breastfeeding lang, there is a reduction in the intake of potentially contaminated food and water. Mm -hmm. So, di ba, yun yung isa sa mga source ng mm -hmm. pwedeng kaya tayong magka, magkadayariya, no? Mm -hmm. And then, they ha also, studies have shown yung vitamin A, which is um, routinely done in local health centers, no? It has been found out that it reduces diarrhea, specific mortality, by 30%. So, it's free po sa mga local health centers. And then, prevention then is, ayan na yung sabi nyo kanina, is the idea, isa sa mga reasons also why there is a decline in cases is your vaccination. So, we have safe vaccinations naman. We have vaccination for your rotavirus and your typhoid, which are causes of... So, ito po ang pinaka-common na, according to research po, itong rotavirus daw po ang isa sa pinaka-common causes ng diarrhea. In children, in children. Okay. Din po, no? Opo. Okay. So, this, the next two slides will show us practical tips in prevention as recommended by the Philippine Society, PS Pagan, yung Society ng Gastroenterology in the Philippines. So, first is um, drinking water should be clean and safe. No? So, we wash raw food, cook food well, and store food properly. Sometimes, pag may medyo na ano lang dyan, na uh, process, eh, pwedeng makontaminate yung ating mga pagkain. Okay? Next would be diligent hand washing, particularly after touching surfaces in public or after going to the toilet. Ideally, use liquid soap in running water, but any soap is better than none. So, and then you dry properly after washing. So, use hand sanitizers that contains at least 70% alcohol. That's an alternative if the hands are not visibly dirty. So, hindi naman madume, masyado, or hindi kita, you can use your hand sanitizer. Okay? Hand sanitizers, moist hand wipes or towelettes are not recommended if hands are visibly dirty or greasy. Kung visible yung dome, hindi pwedeng punas-punas lang. You have to really hand wash, okay? Next is regularly clean the toilet including the handle and lid. Flush down when the lid is down. So, pwede yung aerosolize, no? Yung sinasabi kanina. So, all efforts be made to get access to clean water, soap, and hand-drying materials. And last would be safe stool disposal and hand hygiene should always be practiced. Ayun po. Okay. So, napakaganda po ng topic natin today na siguradong makakatulong sa ating mga parents. Um, uh, Dok, ah... Uh, Ano po ba ang uh, pwede pa nilang uh, gawin sa kanilang mga bahay o sa kanilang tahanan na makakatulong sa pag-promote ng health ng children nila? Ano po ba dapat ang food na ipakain? Uh, ano po ba dapat ang uh, recommendation ng uh, intake ng water sa children na may diarrhea? Uh, as yun, as to summarize again, mm -hmm. so we encourage nutritious food. Una, we encourage food. We do not with no? So, we encourage complex carbs, fruits, and vegetables. And yung fluids, we avoid the high uh, sugar-containing fluids and we encourage the oral rehydration solution. Ah, okay. okay. So, yun po, ano? Uh, bago po tayo magpatuloy, uh, gusto ko lang po munang ipromote ang ating services dito sa Adventist Medical Center. Okay. Uh, Ito ang mga available services ng Adventist Med para sa ating new normal setup. 
ang outpatient services is open to serve you. Pero walang walk-in, please call to set an appointment para sa inyong face-to-face -face consultation. Kung hindi kayo makararating, you can have your virtual consultation gamit ang aming telemedicine. Ang aming dental services is ready to serve you. Same with our physical therapy and rehabilitation. Once again, no walk-in. Please set an appointment. Here are the services you can have at the comforts of your home. Laboratory Services Immunization Services PT and Rehab Home Care You can even have your medicines delivered at your doorsteps through medicine delivery. Meron din kaming drive through services for laboratory and immunization. For meals, snacks, and more na siguradong nutritious and delicious, here's our healthy bites. We are open for takeout. For your convenience, you can have it delivered or picked up. Let's go to our sister institution, the Manila. At ayan nga po, ano, ayan po ang available na services na hatid sa inyo ng Adventist Medical Center Manila. Uh, ito pong uh, services na to ay aming uh, pre-prepare para po maihatid sa inyong mga tahanan sa gitna po ng pandemya na ito. Uh, Dok, may, baka po may gusto pa po kayong sabihin o idagdag sa inyong uh, presentation ngayon? Uh, once again, siguro, i-remind ko lang if you have diarrhea, uh, um, children with diarrhea or apo. So, um, you, once again, emphasize lang natin. You promote, you encourage nutritious food and um, give them oral, the recommended oral rehydration solution. Yun lang po. Yun po. Maraming maraming salamat po, Doc, ano, ano, sa presentation po natin. Uh, so, bago po tayo magpatuloy, uh, gusto po natin munang ipakita ang ating uh, Bible verse for today. So, ang sabi po dito sa Psalms 41 verse 3 ng NIV, The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. So, ayun po, napakaganda po ng, uh, ng Bible verse na uh, iniwan sa atin. So, magkita-kita po tayo ulit bukas. Ito po ay mula lunes hanggang biyernes, 10, hanggang, 10 to 11 ng umaga. At meron din po tayong teleradyo sa DWBL 1242 mula Monday to Friday, 12.30 to 1 p.m. At saka gusto ko lang po magpasalamat. Ano? Magpapasalamat lang po ako sa ating mga viewers. Sana po ay natulungan kayo ng ating uh, talakayan ngayong umaga. So, Doc, uh, pwede niyo po ba kaming ipag-pray sa, pag, uh, sa ating pagtatapos? Okay, mm -hmm. let's pray. Our most gracious, loving Father, the giver of life and health, we thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for um, this opportunity that we, we were able to share to our viewers how to take care of children with diarrhea at home. We continue to pray for our viewers as they continue um, to patronize our FB live shows that they may it may help me them to have healthy lifestyle we pray that you continue to bless them bless their needs thank you so much lord for loving us just as we are this we ask in the sweetest name of jesus amen amen so, yun po. maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa mga taga subaybay wag po kayong mawawala bukas dito sa programang ito so stay safe take care and don't forget lifestyle is medicine Bye bye